Locke can tell us when we go live. Okay, world settings. Oop. Adventure mode. Create new adventure mode. Uh, let's do Yesha. Uh, since... Alright. So now... Travel to Yesha. Do I need my passport? Yes. Okay. Uh, but... Lock is the stream up. Yeah, everything's looking good on my end. FPS good? Audio good? Yeah, everything's awesome. I just... Jason and Nick need to say something. <laughs> um, How about hello. I just cough into the mic instead? <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that all. I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I took I took Nick's line there. <laughs> yeah, you guys are good. Sweet. Um, hello. Uh, we're back. Uh, this is Co-Optimus. I'm Mike. I'm joined by the full crew. We've got uh, Nick and Jason and Locke uh, and this dog them. and these two little rolly boys. Uh, and we're gonna play some more Remnant too. Uh, we streamed this last week, uh, but it seems like we may have had a few technical issues. Um, but that's fine, because we were going to play more of this anyway. Uh, so here we are, and we're rolling around uh, the the realm of Yesha in adventure mode. And... You got the red throne. I did. I did not get this my first time around, so this is pretty cool. Um, what is adventure mode versus the main campaign? Adventure mode lets you go to any zone that you previously completed and roll a new instance of it that is separated from your campaign. So you can, because the game randomly generates which like main quest you've got and uh, whatnot, it will, uh, you'll have different quests, different zones, things like that. And so what this allows you to do is uh, get access to things that you may not have had access to uh, previously. Um, I see. And yeah. It also allows... It also allows you to just, you know, basically like reload a zone and play it again if you just liked the, the place. like. Yesha is by far my favorite of the zones I've played through. Uh, All the lore is here. Yes, I was gonna say this looks like a library full of lore, uh, which we will read on our uh, next stream. The Noah uh, Man. We'll call it uh, Pexel Text Story Time. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let's, let's look around. Um, There's a treasure chest up here. Oh shit. Uh, actually, I think if anyone picks stuff up, it goes to everybody. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, but oh, gosh, since you weren't here last time, Jason, what are you playing as? I am... My dual class at the moment is Engineer and Challenger. Nice. So you're Tank and you have the turret? Yeah. Yeah. Heavy weapons. Nice. Yeah, my as as I was playing last week, my guy has the uh, my my guy is a handler and a summoner, so I can summon friends. Yep, all pets. Uh, my so Jason, pertinent to you is if I sacrifice my pets or my pets die, they make a, a healing pool. So oh, nice. you, so you can stand in that and heal. Uh, That's also, I have innate life steal and high health regen. <laughs> yeah. Seems it's useful. Very, use very useful. It is. And I've also geared myself to have really high mod power generation so I can constantly use my uh, cool sniper. My, my bleed gun that can turn into a sniper rifle at a moment's notice. Yeah, currently, like, I got a couple of things where it's just 
purely like I like my necklace is <laughs> purely for scrap pickup. Yeah. <laughs> get more scrap. Yeah, scrap is kind of a choke point in this game. Oh, what's over here? I really like the uh, map system in the game. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying last week too. I just like. It, it gives you enough to kind of like lead you in the right direction. Uh, or that, is, that is the main path, I'll say. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, we one. should probably go back and see if there's someone to talk to over here to kick off the zone. But if you want the non-main path, the fun part, Geisha. Oh, yeah, what? illusory what? walls, baby. What? Yeah, the, the, the Ravager path that I had in my original playthrough actually had a a zone that was nothing but illusory wall after illusory wall and invisible <laughs> invisible bridges uh, traps and puzzles um, but oh, it must be open from the other side yep okay so let's see you have the cheaters mask on so you can see where all the illusory walls are right no 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 Okay. This this mask like literally only the only thing that it does is. Oh it's no! Used. It's oh it's one of the classes gets that ability. Yeah. DoorDash. <laughs> N Nick rolling up in the thrift store special <laughs> while Jason and I are all kitted out. <laughs> Damn. I, 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 I actually, actually really played like for like an hour. So I do really like that outfit that Nick has on. <laughs> um, yeah, so one of the nice things with this is, like, depending on your initial starting zone, you have two different stories for each area. I, th I think it might be more, depending. But the quests can branch. Can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in my version of the <laughs> of of this world, uh, this em emperor on the throne or whatever, the queen, you fight a boss that is basically like a statue that looks like them, uh, and uh, who has the dialogue controls? Because it's not me. Well, apparently, I do. All right, what do you want? Who are you? Paxeltech! Time to Paxeltech. Very quick. Uh, either of these is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Henry Ford was kind of an asshole. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But you know, Mike, if I had money like Henry Ford. Yeah, I'd make people buy all black cars because I'm too cheap to give I'd, them other options. I'd have a woman on every road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mike, is it possible to kick up game audio a little a little bit when you have a second? Yeah, we'll have to get out of this. Uh, Alright, option? Uh, go, I'm listening. I, I juice the game audio a bit. Sound better? Discord is canceling your fan. OBS is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. Fan is now off. No, don't. He's going to melt. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll play until my computer overheats. <laughs> <laughs> Time the mic flop sweats. Uh, apologies for uh, fan noise. I did not know it was no. going through. Uh, first one. Why not? What if the name of this this race? The pan. The pan. Yeah. The pan, yeah. I what, am the pan. What, what if I told you that my armor set that I'm wearing is called the Red Widow? That's pretty good. Because <laughs> I, I can't help but notice the, uh, the color scheme and the horns. Yeah. Uh, pick option three. I've gotten a real stakes in uh, adventure mode. <laughs> we should have just killed them all then. Oh, we can just kill them right here. I mean, there was a, there was a. I'm not gonna do what you want. Just get engaged in combat. Oh well, bummer. <laughs> Neat. Minions. But yes, I am wearing the, the Red Widow uh, armor set. Uh, and I've got all the ribbons and horns and everything from all these folks. Good fashion. Alright, uh, let's... Just like you all. I'm just gonna follow Jason. Yeah, do it. Because you, you already did this... <laughs> you, you did this storyline, so I'm presuming you know at least a little bit about where to go. I do. <laughs> that was your first mistake. I don't know if you remember from the first game, Nick, but like when you quote unquote roll a world, and I think we were talking about this before we started streaming, but like the the world you started on was the same one I started on, except you got different like a different map than when I started. And I think Mike got a different map too. Like you were saying you didn't get a certain weapon and mm -hmm. Jason Yeah, like, like that's one of the charming things I find about this game where Oh yeah, you guys gotta definitely. We did the thing. We did. We we did the thing. Don't worry. Good. No, I know I'm a second behind. Anyways, I just find it very charming, part of the game because, um, it's it, it it pushes back on like the my completionist nature. It's like oh, I want all of the things. Well, and. It, it, and I, I think to go on top of that is it's actually the the only way to be a completionist is to engage in multiplayer or yes. or adventure or mode. Yeah, and I think adventure mode is rad. I think that's so sick. Um, multiplayer also sick, and I think it just allows you. I was thinking about this throughout the week, just as I was playing on my own. But like, it allows you to. Uh, be a little bit more emergent in in your playthrough and what I mean by that is like yes you can go in with a build in mind yeah and, like, try and do that or you can like play the hand that's dealt to you and just like see what happens and obviously when you move on to like end game and higher difficulty stuff you're gonna want to have everything but like I think just going through and I've had such a good time like not worrying about getting everything yeah um, just because you know you can always re-roll, join a friend's game, uh, yeah, adventure mode, all that stuff. So um, that's not, been a lot of fun. I, I was saying I, last time I don't remember if the first one had selectable difficulties beyond making hardcore characters, but I actually think that the uh, the di the ability to like set your starting difficulty is really powerful in getting people into this genre because yeah, I agree. it. Yes, it's a Souls-like, but you literally, like, unlike Dark Souls or any of the FromSoft games, you don't lose anything by dying except yeah, a bit of progress. Um, so it's not very punishing, and honestly, it's no more difficult than pretty much any other third-person shooter um, at the base difficulty. 
Um, so I, I mentioned last time I was kind of upset that I picked the wrong difficulty to play on because personally I found it a bit too easy. Uh, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, I, I did the veteran one and I thought it was just right. Yeah. Um, there's been moments where I've had issues with it. Uh, yeah. But yep. like, yeah, overall, I'm glad we've played on veteran. But it, it like, yeah, there's a couple things where I'm like, boy, this would this. Like, I got to the. At this point, was the third world Here. of the campaign. Stand, and I was in like, my, oh. stand in my healing juice. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, juice often. I didn't play the first game, and then um, when I fired this up, you know, I just always picked normal difficulty, and I was getting my butt kicked. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's not that it's not... Like I say, it's more like a, a standard third-person shooter, but it's really just... It's not very punishing. Like, once you figure out what the game is going to be... Like, each zone only has a certain number of, of combinations of enemy that it throws at you, so once you... Once you get a feel for a zone, you kind of understand. You'll love this, Nick. You kind of understand the rules that it plays by, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, so you can you can kind of like see. Okay, it's throwing these six enemies at me. Uh, what's my priority? What's I'm what am I going to do? And you just you get better. Miss the lady back here. Oh yeah, is she going to ask me if I'm a ravager or a doe? Yeah. Okay. What'd you get before? Um, I just know that she exists. She was not in my other game. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say I'm a Pexel Tech. I think that's, you know, a lot going back to what you were saying with like the different worlds and roles for him. Like that's the coolest thing. Yeah. That I'm seeing about just because then like as we're all talking, it's like our experience is vastly different. Mm-hmm. And it's very replayable and everything else to see. Well, how did this come out for you? And oh, well, I didn't even have that chance yeah. to yeah. do that thing. That's that's pretty neat. All right, Jason, no, I... steer me. <laughs> uh, selfish answers make you the ravager, and selfless answers make you the doe. I understand that it is more of. It is more of a, what is the reward for one better than the other? <laughs> uh, I would say go for the Ravager based off of what you're doing. Uh, so is the selfish one telling your friend? Because I missed the question. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we're breaking the sun's arm. I'm gonna I'm gonna channel Michael Jordan and say, yo, fuck them kids. <laughs> Oh my. Oh no. Uh, fuck it. I see. I'm, I'm eating that fruit, and you're also very much on screen, Jason. <laughs> Wonderful. selfish yes I am the beast
Nah. <laughs> nah. Hell yeah. I mean, the fire of the Ravager's eye uh, literally is in the gun I'm holding. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, sure. Bel Belgoth. Sweet. Axel Tech Lore! Uh huh. <laughs> These gunshots going off in the background. Like, what are you two doing? <laughs> I got a Ravager's eye for you. Bang, bang. <laughs> Sick. Can I be a fire elemental too, lady? Oh, okay. I'm holding a quest item, <laughs> apparently. Mason setting fire to fields. <laughs> oh my god, which ring is she talking about? The Elden Ring. It's Kaya's ring. Gotcha. It does. Uh, I'm going to keep moving. Hell yeah. Uh, she gave me something, and I don't know what I got. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Oh, she gave you uh, an STD. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow. You, uh, it, if you gave her the ring, she gave you a new pistol. I did not give her the ring, uh, okay. but hold on, I'm still here. Oh, I'm actually, I have the ring equipped, that's what. Uh, is the pistol good? Uh, you're using what you're using, so up to you. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it then. Sweet, let's go. All right. Uh, where are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> We're off killing stuff. I see, you went off this way. You're doing the killings, and I'm showing off lore. The remnant to experience. Well, I can also uh, summon my pets again. I gotta level up uh, my summoner subclass one more time before they're actually useful, sadly. Uh, well, more useful. They tend to just body block right now, because their aggro radius is very, very shallow. Your, your pets remind me of mad balls. Yeah, no kidding, dude. <laughs> What's... I'll catch up with this. I unequipped a ring that I actually wanted on. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Okay, so that's just a big circle. Okay, we're going this way now. Oh, Nick found a friend. So, have you played any more uh, since we streamed lock? Yeah, I um, I made it through Nerud, um, which was nice. That was mm -hmm. a really cool world. 
and... Such a wild thing to go to. Like, if you start in Yasha and then you go to Naru, you're just like, what yeah. is happening? You're just like, what is this? Um, and then, yeah, I, I spent a little bit of time in the Labyrinth, which was really cool. And a lot of stuff to find in there. Yeah. I fought a couple, or one boss, I think, in there, maybe two. And then, like, a, bot, a main boss, and then a mini boss, I think. Anyway, and then made it to the Bloodborne Town. Losum? Losum? Yeah. Um, and yeah, that, like I said before, it's just been kicking my butt. But um, I, I'm being a little bit stingy with my upgrades just because I don't have a ton of uh, iron. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, like, super happy with my weapons I'm using right now and mods and stuff. But, and, and like, I don't. Like I haven't rolled a adventure or anything to, to farm a little bit of extra, but um, yeah, yeah, really, really loving loving it and having a good like really good game flows and like really good little runs and then deaths and back to ward thirteen. But I haven't like I'm only power level like nine, I think. Um, I'm so I'm uh, much I'm further ready. ahead than you, and I'm only power level ten. Oh no shit! Yeah. Um. But, like, I think my challenger archetype is at eight. Mm hmm And my... And I, I grabbed engineer. And... So you're, you how, and you and Jason are the same? Currently, right now, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I was just kind of flipping through all of them. Um, to... Yeah, to see what they have. Like, challenger's really nice. Mm hmm I hear the flautist. Yeah, I hear our friend. You know, go get him with the res on challenger is nice solo um but i probably wouldn't main class it mm -hmm. co-op the the challenge uh, the handler has a nice uh self res too because mm -hmm. your your dog can use your uh your dragon heart on you oh sick so it uses a charge of the dragon heart but it only has like a one minute cooldown so if you get downed multiple times in one fight you just get right back up nice is is the self res on the challenger side if it's your prime archetype or whatever? It is, yeah. That's okay. it, its thing. You get a you get a res and a yeah. You just basically get a second life. Oh hey, it's a friend. Um, yeah, for, for the engineer is you can hold down the thing to summon your turret and it overclocks it, so it has infinite ammo damage increase and increased rate of fire for a period of time. Yeah. Concerning you, like you can pick it up and use it just as a main weapon is ridiculous. I know. It just told me I don't have horns, but look at my helmet. <laughs> your your helmet has horns. So I have horns. I'm in possession of my helmet. If I take the helmet off, you no longer have horns on your helmet. You know what? Friend Paxeltech. Uh, okay, well, maybe this will make him happier. What if I... What if I put on the crown of its people? <laughs> or, yeah, what if you just teabag it? Do you like my crown? You like my crown? I do. Hey, now I have horns. Damn. Damn. <laughs> uh, well, now... I'm a spaceman. <laughs> uh, damn. damn. I could just put my trucker hat back on so Nick will feel a bit more at home. Nice. All right, I'll put the real thing back on. Actually, you know what I should do is... is hold up. I'll do... Uh, I will make Locke very happy, and I will go full Bloodborne. Do it. You know you want to. Nice. Jesus, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, yeah, I'm only going to melee uh, with the face of the boss that I killed in Yasha. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, this game kind of rules. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm a big fan. I like this a lot. Like, I love the first game, and all the improvements that they've done have just made it even better. 
Yeah. Oh, this fucking place. All right. Oh, 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 you want to talk about illusory walls, baby. <laughs> Well, this is where you get this armor set, Nick. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, it will take much longer than our stream to do that. Wait, the armor sets you have on? No, the uh, the Red Widow. The, isn't this the one with all the illusory walls and shit? No. Oh, 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 okay, I know where we are. This is the one with the, the gaze boss. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, I actually have a weapon with that boss's mod on it, and I could use it against it. Which might be funny. Of course, I, uh... This set I've got on is light armor, and I've been playing entirely with medium armor, so... <laughs> we'll see how I feel. Wob 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 wob. It's happening. <laughs> Which elite is it? I think it's the summoning goat. Yeah. It's it's dead. You want, to, you want to do something fun? Always. Okay. One, two, three, follow me. I'm going to beat them with the power of cubes. glowing back here. Yeah. Oh, a great glow back here. I see a purple glow. Is that a ring? Oh, yeah. And yeah, while it, it seems tough to do until you get a, uh, until you get the right gear, it does seem like you could melee your way through this. Oh, there's a, in a, in Bloodborne World, there's an entire boss I beat without firing my gun. Nice. Uh, because it was endless waves of enemies, and uh, I found out that I could actually just... Hey, there's a big boy here. Oh, okay. I've... Whoa. By little fire, Scarecrow. Buddy! Put the full power of our friends on it, and snipe away. I think I sniped Nick in the head, though. It's just, that's called Oopsie Daisy. It is called Oopsie Daisy. What's in the box? What's in the box? Thanks. Loot. Mm. Very nice. Oh, 
Alright. I like the jumping off the ledge animation. It's mm -hmm. good. It feels good. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Hey, hello. Yo. Yeah, it's it's the mini boss version of the same guy. <laughs> Big gun. Burn it all. Oh. That uh, the the that fucking like six gun song from uh, Fallout, one of the Fallouts. Yeah. <laughs> the only way to purify it is with flames. But this hammer is quite dope. It poisons the enemy and causes poison buildup. Lock. Beautiful. What does poison do to you? Just tick. tick yeah, damage? it's like tick damage. So I think if this is where I'm thinking of. Is it this way? Oh, we got a friend. Whoops. There. There's a healing pedal for you. Use my pistol that's Anarchy from Destiny. Yeah, they love uh, making references to other games in this, and uh, I approve. Um, let me look at the map real quick. Careful, Nick. <laughs> yeah, again, that was actually way too strong. They had to already nerf it because its uh, crowd control capabilities were in in oh in Destiny. No, no, and in this game, the, oh. the weapon I have, the, like in the last patch, whatever. Mm. Like, uh, yeah, this one came in a bit too hot, so... Yeah, multiplayer has a bit of that, which is unfortunate, but let's see, let's see. It is interesting, like, the, the difficulty difference in co-op versus solo, where, like, you take each one of these corridors and stuff slowly and, like, clearing out methodically as you go and this is just like yeah we got guns <laughs> it's it's dark souls with guns hot damn Woo -wee. yeah go doggo go 
The dog is a freaking beast. It's amazing. And you can pet it. You can pet the dog. And you can pet the dog if you are not controlling the dog. Which is even best, better. Best doggo. Alright. Get all this iron. It's time to, uh... I guess we could all touch this and top off. Since Nick Nick is sitting on about two health. It's there for it us to touch. Dangerously. It is there for you to touch. That's right. I always roll through these games with two health. No more, no less. Uh, I'm going to swap guns real quick. And Fargazer and... What is beyond the veil? Uh oh. I already see it. What is beyond the veil is good times. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a dumb. You ready? Yeah. Always. This seems fine. Yeah, we're okay. Any figure sitting on a throne is always fine. Like yes. This. Nothing yeah. ever happens. And, and you know, uh, boss fight is probably a good way to cap off the stream. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, light, light, bad. Slam attack, also bad. So yes. keep in mind those two things. Yeah, um, also we get friends. So don't look at that. And then, whoa. you can do you can dodge through that. Okay. Dodge roll. Uh. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh. God dang it. I just forgot I needed to... Because I didn't... S Stand in the health juice if you need it. And. And boom. Did the revives eat one of your dragon They hearts sure do. Them? They are yeah. not free. You just gotta dodge it. Alright, but here we go. Oh, I'm out of revives for you. Yeah, let, that's, let me die. I got revives. I also got the boss, so I'm going to turn the boss on the boss. Which is very funny yeah. to me.
Ready for a slam? Get ready. Comes the slam. Here comes the slam. Ready to dodge, Nick. Watch now. Ah, boo. Dog get me. Whee! There's some healing puddles. Stand in them. Many whelps. I'm playing like a silly person, so... Uh, slam's coming soon. Yeah. Dodge. Yes. Did I get shot? <laughs> there we go. Could have played better, but you know. Hey, nice. We did it. Boop, 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 boop. Enjoy the power of cube. Did we power remnant? Cube, we, we did. Remnant, Nick. We remnanted. Right. We remnanted. We are the remnants. And then we'll get a checkpoint uh, after popping out here. <laughs> you got you know got to prime the pump to make the uh, the door open. It's one of those That's new right. it's one of those pneumatic doors. That's right. Well, all right, friends. That's uh, that's remnant, remnant two, again. Well done. Yes, the game is dope. Highly recommend. Play it, play it alone or with friends. It's fun either way. But I would not recommend passing it up. Randy. Nick, touch, touch the, the stone. stone. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's way more... Like, the areas are big, but they're more linear. So, like, compared to a Dark Souls where it's like, hey, go do whatever, this one's pretty... Yeah, it, there, I mean, there are... You. There are some circle back. Uh, you know, speaking of guide, I thought this was interesting. I went back and played the, uh, the Quake 2 remaster, and they added, like, a full inventory system to it. Like you could hold, what? you could hold items before, uh, but like, you have a you have a freaking compass that you can use to like ping the path to the end of the level for you. So you don't like you know old FPSs were very maze like, so it was easy to get lost. Um, let's see. That's pretty cool. Stasis beam, prismatic driver, bore. Oh, I 
apparently in one of my boss fights I got something that's the weapon mod now just called Space Crab, so... Oh yeah, Space that crab? one's great. That one's great. I love it. Yeah, uh, the the mutator that I keep on my Merciless is the Refunder, <laughs> which is... Like, it's a gun that does more damage the more times you hit something, and the Refunder re returns spent ammo to the mag. Uh, so you... So uh, hit things more. You hit things more, and then if you level it up even more, it will actually let you uh, refund ammo to your secondary weapon as well. Which is pretty cool. Nice. Uh, and this guy we're going to is the NPC that will sell you, like, upgrades to your... Your Dragon Heart, which is, you know, your Estus Flask analog, uh, and it will also unlock other classes for you. Yep, if you get the right items. <laughs> Make an orb of undoing. Get a relic charge. Ponder the orb. Ponder the orb. Yep. I don't need to buy anything, because I'm using the ring that gives me two extra relic charges. So I could... Nice hang on to the the thing that lets you buy more relic charges and use it for crafting something else I haven't decided so that guy will forever remain as he is but I think that that is going to do it for this week uh, we'll be back next week uh, any ideas of what we want to play um, I mean, we Fred could, and Fred Fred and Fred all right, you heard it here first. Really good too. Mm -hmm. uh, J here. Jason, I'm going to shut down the game shortly. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so on behalf of the entire gang, uh, that's us. Yeah, that's we're you guys. Yeah, we're all here. Uh, we'll see you next week. Peace.